Hey guys, let me do you a favour, okay? Smash that dislike button right now to save you doing it in about 15 seconds. It's PewDiePie and the N-word. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of... That's great. <laughs> so as you can tell, I'm very ill, okay? So I'm just gonna get through this as quickly as possible, yeah? I might be a little bit late to the party, but then when aren't I? Do you know what I mean? PewDiePie said the N-word, it's right here. What a fucking n Jeez, oh my god, what the fuck? Sorry, but what the fuck? What a fucking asshole. Oof, the hard R and everything. Yeah, PewDiePie's a racist. Fucking Wall Street Journal were right. Oh, he's such a Nazi propaganda racist fucking, do you know what I mean? Look, right? We're gonna take this from two different sides. First of all, my side. The YouTube side. The monetization side. The Adpocalypse 2.0 side. Pewds, I know you're at the top. I know you're making bear mills, yeah? But I'm about to make $75 this month, and that for me is fucking sick, yeah? That you guys could all laugh, and there you go, now you know how much money I'm on making these YouTube videos. But last time this happened, back in January, February, March time, when, when it was all like, oh yeah, PewDiePie's a Nazi, and it caused Adpocalypse 1.0, I went down to about $6. So that shows you, percentage-wise, how much this can have an effect on people, yeah? Say if someone's making seven grand a month, which is nice, you can live on seven grand a month, yeah? All of a sudden they're making 600 quid. Now, do I think PewDiePie is racist? No. Do I think what he said was stupid? Yes. Do I think it just came out in the heat of the moment? Yes, PUBG is a very frustrating game. Doesn't justify it. And the fact that he said it so easily, yes, does kind of make you think he probably throws it around between his mates and that, you know, quite leisurely with the hard R. And I think the hard R is a very big point. You know, you, you round it off with the old A. It's not as harsh as that hard R. Do you know what I mean? I think that's what is getting a lot of people is this hard R. Uh, but look, right? How I see this, yeah? And the reason I'm not criticising the man is because I'm not a religious person, yeah? At all. In fact, I think religion is quite funny. But, and I'm probably going to butcher this from the passage of our good Lord Saviour Jesus Christ. May the man without sin Cast the first stone. And what I mean by that is all these fucking dickheads making videos like me and all these fucking dickheads writing on fucking Twitter and writing their articles and shit calling him the worst person since Hitler. Are you trying to tell me that you have not said something horrific to your friends in jest? Now I know before you start typing, but it wasn't in jest. It wasn't in jest. In fact, he tried to recover it by calling the guy an asshole, which is still an insult, which means he was using the N-word in a defamatory, insulting way. And you're not wrong. You're not wrong. But I know for a fact that whoever is fucking typing down below right now, trying to tear me apart for having an opinion on the internet, heaven forbid, I know that you've told someone to go fuck their mum. I know you've dropped the end bomb I know you've told someone to go get cancer. I know that you've told someone to kill themselves when playing Call of Duty because they camp in a fucking corner and you're on a mad kill streak and they ruin it because they sat there camping like a fucking prick. I know this. So take that into consideration when you try to take PewDiePie down. That's all I'm gonna say. The reason he's annoyed me slightly because at the end of the day, the N-word does not affect me, and I'm not going to pretend, like a lot of social justice warrior snowflakes, that it does affect me, because it doesn't. I'm a white male, and at the end of the day, that word doesn't affect me, okay? Just being honest. The way it does affect me is monetarily. The way it does affect me is the effect that PewDiePie 
as the king and god of YouTube has on this platform. This platform that I want to make a name for myself, this platform that I want to have as a career. And that is why I have an opinion on the matter. See? Bring your opinion if you have a valid point to bring. Is my point. And don't just jump on the bandwagon and be like, ah, PewDiePie's fucking racist. Because you've probably said something racist in the past. So shut the fuck up. Yeah? This weekend, this fuck, it was 9 11, one of the worst catastrophes in the Western world in modern times. Yeah? And it was overshadowed on Twitter because PewDiePie dropped the fucking end bomb while playing a fucking game. This is 2017. This is what we've come to expect. This is what our lives are now. Donald Trump as president spouting absolute bollocks every time he speaks in front of a camera. Tweeting even worse bollocks. And the likes of 9-11 being overshadowed by fucking PewDiePie dropping a word. It's a word and I understand, I know the context of the word, I know the history of the word, I know that it has bad connotation, I understand that, I sympathise with that, but come on, come on, move forward, move on, it's going to be alright, apart from the inevitable adpocalypse 2.0. Now I have no idea what kind of response this video is going to get, it's probably going to get a fuck ton of hate. But there we go. Not going to slap a filter on shit on this channel, okay? That's it. That is my opinion on the racial slur, PewDiePie, inevitable adpocalypse 2.0. I'm sure the comment section is going to be fruity. And I look forward to reading them. I'm sure the dislike bar it's going to far outweigh the like bar, but there we go. Sometimes that's just life. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I love you very much. Subscribe, like, and share at the end of the day. It's the end of the day, and at the end of the day, it's the end of this video. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.